So probably the short answer to that, why I'm running for this position would be, <clears throat> I guess it's my turn. I have to admit, uh, running for this position was, was not on my radar. I was very comfortable in where I was at. Uh, my own board, uh, serving on the nominations committee until I was approached regarding running. And then I started thinking that perhaps it was my turn. Any organization to be viable needs people to serve and to fill positions and, and to be a part of it. Um, so we all have to, at some time, step up and, and be a part of it. WASDA is a great organization. I don't think there's any big problems I'm here to, to solve, but look forward to serving in a different capacity as vice president in the education and in Washington and the organization of WASDA in any way that I can in bringing what I have to offer to the table. I think to answer the question, what is your vision for WASDA, requires perhaps asking another question. And that would be, what is the future of education look like? As educational leaders, we are faced with challenges of navigating a changing environment, both legislatively and just the world itself. A few of those things I have identified are, are ever-changing global world and the requirement that students be aware of it and be a part of it. The changing of our virtual and digital world and, and the requirement for kids to, to know about it and the, the need to teach that in our classrooms. The need to prepare students to meet the demands of future jobs in this changing world. Funding will continue and always be a, a moving target for us and challenging part of our decisions. School safety is becoming a greater issue as we look at looking at our physical buildings and how to make them safe as well as the social and emotional needs of our children. Our, our association needs to make sure that public schools lead the education reform movement. WASD is positioned to advocate for that vision and the needs of our students. We can either lead the way or sometimes we might find ourselves trying to catch up. If we as public educators are not the ones making, leading the way, uh, we will find others filling that void for us. WASDA is in a wonderful position to see the future, to charter the future, and to advocate for the future of our children. An educational issue that I have an interest in or find I care about in Washington or in a public education period is what I call uh, outside market pressures. I'm the father of seven children and so I've been what I call a consumer of education for a lot of years. And <clears throat> for a number of years, for most of history, education has been more of a monopoly. If parents and families were not, their needs were not being met by public education, they didn't have too many options. But with social media, with our digital world, um, the world is shrinking and they're shopping. And there's many other options. They, they know about those options. And so we as um, an education system need to make sure we're tailoring and meeting the needs of those those options and meeting the free market system. Voucher systems and charter schools and private schools are becoming more of an outside pressure to public education and we need to make sure that we are providing a product that people want and desire and providing the services that they want to ensure that public, uh, public education continues to be a viable option and the leader in education in our society.